You know, the rain comes from the sky just like the revelation. This word comes from the sky. And the rain enters into the earth and gives it life just like this revelation enters into the hearts of the people and gives their hearts life. It gives them life. In a hadith we find, I'll paraphrase only inshallah, but I'll tell you where it's from so you can read the full text and the sharh on your own. This is from Kitab al-Fadail uh, in Sahih Muslim. This is the example of what I have been given. The Messenger says the example what I have been given in knowledge and guidance. And he gives examples, the likeness, the parallels with revelation. And one of them I'll paraphrase for you inshallah. Again, it, read it up in, in Sahih Muslim, also occurs in Bukhari. Is... That Allah, he says it's like rain coming from the sky and there are three kinds of reactions. There's the earth that absorbs it and then plant life comes out of it and it benefits the people continuously. It continues to produce and produce and produce. So not only is the earth itself beautiful, but it's giving benefit to others. Then he says another kind of patch of land which doesn't absorb the water but at least retains it, meaning forms like a puddle or a lake or something. And at least other animals and people can you know, cultivate from it, they can drink from it, they can use it as a supply. It still, it doesn't benefit itself, but at least it benefits others. That's another kind of land. Then he describes a third kind of land that has no use whatsoever. It doesn't retain the water, it doesn't give the water. If the water even goes in, only shrubs and you know, harmful plants with thorns that even animals are scared of, even they, only these things come out. But the Messenger والسلام, is talking about people. So when Allah says, وَالسَّمَاءِ ذَاتِ الرَّجْعِ وَالْأَرْضِ ذَاتِ الصَّدْعِ Yes, it's referring to the rain and referring to the plant life. But it's also referring to the revelation that comes down and the reactions of the people. What comes out of the earth? What comes out of the people? And this book decides, إِنَّهُ لَقَوْلٌ فصل. It distinguishes between people. Who are the people that learn this book? They internalize its teachings, they live according to them, and then they teach it to others also. Like that, that, that earth that itself beautified itself, and was also to give fruit to others. Who are of those who learn from this book, but they don't apply it for themselves, but they still serve as a vessel for others to learn. At least some good came out of them, even though not for themselves. At least still some good came out of them. And who are of those, whether you give them this book or you don't give them this book, doesn't make any difference. Nothing changes in their life at all. Right? These, the Quran distinguishes between these people.